Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls. If you're truly know that you're the mad high lord of losses, our major spiffing. There are 22 boxes, man, and good as fuck in 2013, and all around neutral guy. And that's how you start this fight, I assume. Can I lock onto that? Oh, that's the wrong key again. This one. Yes, I can. Ah, shit, that, that's not cool. Can I throw a fireball? Well, yes. It appears so. Whoop. Though the fireball didn't go exactly as planned, I don't think. Can I throw another? Oh! It actually does. Did he have the amount of damage? Let's throw another. And another, and that leaves us victorious. No. That went a lot easier than I actually expected. <laughs> yeah. Quite well indeed. Alright then, um, I guess I'm moving out of here. Opening this door. Going to the great, great beyond. Now, go chop, go straight ahead. Uh, I don't have to go straight ahead. I know there are two things here, which I can take a closer look at. One is this uh, nest here. From what I understand, I think they're just asking me to sit on them until they hatch. Barlock has an interesting idea of maybe, just maybe, I could set them on fire. And they'd be happy with that, but they won't. Though, to be fair, that didn't work at all. And that may have been my competence that you got. Can I throw it here? No, I can't. Uh, this is why I it was so important for me to learn how to lock onto enemies. Because I have no idea how the aiming mechanic works otherwise. Was there... There was a route somewhere. That went down here. Yeah. More souls for me. These consumable souls are pretty nifty to have. They... Well, you can't lose them as easily. So you just use them when you need them. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords Lordran Right, um, leveling up sounds pretty, you know, acceptable an idea. 
There's no reason for me to pick a tunement just yet. Oh, actually, last time I did get to pick diligence. I'm quite uncertain if that's actually as relevant when I only have one spell. Do I have actually, you know, become competent with using said spell? So it's not entirely useless. What's these messages? Low range battle rating zero. Merchant ahead rating one. Where's the close range battle? They can't exactly call this fellow a merchant. Oh, goes him further down. Anyway, this character is the one who offers the reinforcement of Estus flasks. If I get myself some of those sweet... What was it? Some sort of a soul anyway. I'm curious what's down here. It should probably get me killed. Probably. What does this say? Imm imminent shortcut. What? Shortcut to where? My death? Seems like it. Hello? Whoa. Okay. So these 274 souls I have. Probably a lost cause. Well, maybe not. Well, I don't want to find out. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to be heading right now. So, up I go. Though it's nice to, you know, explore and look around to see the places that Barlock hadn't shown in his series. So. Because, really, that's all I know of the game. What Barlock has shown. <laughs> Though, to be fair, I did kind of do some exploration uh, before as well. Namely, do I explore down here to find this character? Which is good to know, because I know I will get some of those souls that will allow for that sort of thing. Hello. Well, what do we have here? You must be a new arrival. Let me guess. Fate of the undead, right? Well, you're not the first. But there's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. But too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both, and something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> Indeed. Try attacking, why? Do, do I want to try attacking? What happens if I try attacking? Okay. That seems like a lot of health. Hmm? Ah, your face. You're practically hollow. But who knows? Going hollow could solve quite a bit. <laughs> Is that so? Um. Hi. Ooh, what? Restoring your humanity? Well, there are a few ways to go about it. Collect it bit by bit from corpses. Or you can butter up a cleric and get yourself summoned. And the quickest way, although I never do it, 
is to kill a healthy undead and pillage its humanity. Coveting my neighbor is only human, after all. <laughs> okay, I tried attacking. Hmm. Nothing really seemed to happen, but uh, I'll let it be. Okay, so what's this way? I know there's a pool with water in it. And here? Nothing obvious, no. I don't think there was anything of interest on that particular coast, shore, whatever. And I know I don't want to go down there. Because that will get me killed. Skeletons will spawn and skeletons will kill me. Because skeletons are pretty, pretty, pretty tough. Here's the body. Let's just hope it won't try to shit on us because it's bloody huge and it probably would. <clears throat> its excrement will probably bury me alive. And I don't want that, really. Does it seem like the best way to go? Really? Okay, so let's go down here. And let's explore the other routes. There are two more staircases here. What does this say? Gesture. What's that this key? I don't know. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Paralog. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. Alright. You get your distance, I'll get to break all your runs. It appears I'm not the only one who has done that. If that uh, shadow over there was anything to judge by. Alright, moving up. Hmm. Radio, this doesn't work yet. I need to activate that by doing a whole lot of stuff which I don't remember really. So, hmm. Might as well be playing it blind. <laughs> Well, technically I am, because I haven't been into the game all that much before. I did do a little bit of the old running around the area stuff, but I didn't get very far. What's down this route? Ah, fire bombs. Six of them. Not bad. But I have five balls. I got great balls of fire. Might as well start singing big balls by ACDC or something. Yeah. Hello. Oh, hey. The jump was unappreciated. Make dead. Oh, don't make me dead. Ah, maybe I should switch to a shield. Whoop, that was unnecessary. And there we go, my first death. I suppose I should go do a retrieval and... Oh, what's this then? Quite jumping off. Does it mean jumping into the well or jumping there? Neither seems all that valid an option, because I don't know how to jump. Let me just retrieve this. Thank you. You know what? 
full max. Okay, so oh, what do you have? Polar Warrior's helm. Not too useful. Can I focus on someone? I can. Can I throw a fireball at them? Not like that anyway. Ah, shit! I can. So I probably don't want to do it like that. Probably. Can I focus on the next enemy? I can. Ah, I don't succeed in throwing a fireball at them though. Oh, sh for fuck's sake, get off. Go away. Shoo. Ah. That's my second death. Good. <laughs> this went a lot better before I figured out how to lock onto enemies. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll continue this journey next episode.